Hello, welcome back to Beauty Bee. Today, inspired by the new taupe collection from ColourPop, I am going through all of my eyeshadows to find some lovely, cool-toned neutral shades. I saw this collection and I was like, oh, those are my colors. They're so perfect, I would wear them every day. And then I thought, oh, those are so perfect for me. I do wear those every day. Clearly I have them. So, the first thing that immediately popped to mind when I thought of cool toned neutral, though not super neutral, was this ColourPop Ladybird Sing Super Shock Shadow. And it is not a taupe. I don't think you can reasonably call it that. Uh, ColourPop refers to this as an ivory with silver glitter. And while I don't see much of the ivory showing up on my eye, I think you can tell in the swatch that the base is just a little bit darker than my skin tone. It just comes off as this really cool toned shimmer. And if I was going to make a cool toned neutral palette out of my collection, I would definitely want this included. And now, this is my NYX Ultimate Utopia palette. I don't see anything that is super taupey in here. I think you could maybe make a case for this dark purpley gray shade, but I'm just gonna put this to the side and we'll see what else I dig up and if that would maybe go well. Let's see. Well, the uh, primary eyeshadow that I have over most of my lid today is this taupe from the NYX Ultimate Edit in, I believe, Ash. Yes. Do another swatch of that. This may be my single favorite eyeshadow in my collection. I just think this has such a nice sheen to it. It's such a pretty color. These cooler nudes are my real nudes. They look quite natural on me. When you see men point out pictures of women that they think aren't wearing any makeup and really what they're wearing is just nude makeup but quite a bit of it, I feel like this shade is that for me. So that's definitely going in. And there's a gray in here as well, but I don't want to have a bunch of grays in my taupe palette. so. We'll put that to the side as well and think about that. Let's see. I do, I think, want to put this... I think this is actually more of a mauve than a taupe. But it's also kind of walking that line between brown and gray. So I think that's a legitimate addition. Yeah, just adding that little bit of pink. Looking very pretty. And you know what? I'm letting this be my cool toned palette, so I'm going to put in this gray as well. Because I just like gray eyeshadow. And you know what? I would usually say that those two colors are too similar, but we're talking about a ColourPop monochromatic palette that I'm kind of trying to do, kind of basing this video off of. So uh, in ColourPop world, these are extremely different. I don't see anything particularly cool toned in here. Though that white might be helpful. We shall consider. My consider pile is for some reason much larger than my I've said no pile, but that's how it is some days. Now in this palette, I think the only thing that I could legitimately put in a cool tone neutral palette would be this dark brown. And really, compared to the other shades, that doesn't look that cool. The 
it's funny looking at it compared to these almost oranges this looks very cool indeed but next to everything else that looks almost warm so that might go if i find a better cool toned brown let's see now i should dig into the drawer okay purple no topes there move on slowly building up the category of things that i have moved on from finally <laughs> this is another of the shades that i have on my eye i have this on the outer corner so this definitely needs to go in the palette And this, compared to the other two, um, I don't even want to call them shimmery shades, these other two um, lustrous shades, this has actual glitter particles in it, which the others do not. It's also a little bit more on the true brown side than the other two. And I think, yeah, I think that this will be the best choice for a brow bone highlight because this is actually quite cool toned. This is a really, really, really light pink. I don't know how well that comes off, but you can see just the hint of pink in person. And I think that that pink is a lot more brightening on my skin tone than anything with even a little bit of yellow. Can be. Okay, this is looking like the most boring palette ever, but I kind of love it. Oh well. <laughs> okay. I love it when we can just look at things and move on immediately. Yep, nothing in there either. Oh, you know what? Might be a good idea if we're doing taupe to put this very light purple in there as well. This comes off much more rosy brown, cool toned than I think it looks in the pan. When I look at this in the pan, I just think it's a light purple, but I mean, there it is swatched on my finger. Oh, let's not overlap it with the light. And I mean, in comparison to the other things on my arm, I think it looks pretty warm and pretty rosy, but I don't think that's out of place at all. That would be kind of nice to blend out some outer edges. So that's staying. All right. Um, is there anything taupey in here? This dark brown might be worth a try. Is it a clean finger? Not really. Yeah. That's both better and cooler than this uh, elf one. So I think I'll take off the elf one. Okay. So here's where we are at the moment. I think that if there's a shade that's on the chopping block, it is this one. Everything else can definitely stay for now. And let's go in to my next palette. Now I know that there is both this true taupe shade, which of course is going in the palette. That might be the most cool toned shade we've got so far. I really do like that. And I don't know if I can legitimately count this, but I found that com uh, mixing these two shades gives the most pretty taupe. Isn't that pretty? Just a super cool toned 
brown with some definite taupe to it. I like that a lot. Don't know that it's really different to say, oh, I have a dark brown and a taupe, and here's my mixture that's the dark taupey brown, but it's my palette. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I think in this, I at least want to try out how this really cool toned, almost lavender color would look with the rest of it. Because it, this palette so far is incredibly neutral, which I know is the goal, but yeah, I think that's a good choice. I don't know why that swatch looks so bad. I'll build that up a little bit. So I did that over the bonniest part of my wrist, which is questionable, but I do think that that's a little bit outside the color scheme so far, but I think it takes it in a nice direction. And I do want to build it out a little bit with some grays. So I think this is good. And also swatching this cool toned light brown. And that goes in the category of really not looking that cool toned compared to everything else in here. So I'm going to remove this one and this one. So now the only thing we have left is this one. Um, this is a somewhat recent acquisition for me. I I think my schedule puts this review as coming up uh, like the day after I post this, but it will come up. It is a very nice palette, just the short version. Um, does it have much taupe in it though? That is one thing I felt was kind of lacking was some nice cool tones. I think that this shade definitely would qualify. there. It's not, it's not great. I'm not super impressed with this shade. I don't know if it'll be staying, but we shall see. Um, otherwise, I think the black would be a worthwhile addition. I usually just use my uh, Kat Von D tattoo liner for the wing when I do this look, but occasionally I will dip into a black shadow. Again, we're branching out a little bit from true taupes, but I think that would be a helpful addition. And that shade actually swatches better than it looks right now. I had used makeup remover on that spot and then immediately swatched over. So it looks kind of patchy. And otherwise, there's really not anything that screams taupe to me in here. So I think this silvery shade with quite a bit of purple would probably be a reasonable addition. Those two shades are, I mean, I knew they were similar, but I didn't realize just how similar they are. I mean, I don't know how well it's going to come off on camera, but this is just a tad more gray. Well, this is a little bit more silver. And this has pink glitter in it, while this is pretty smooth. I think it has a little bit of white or silver glitter in it, but nothing too shocking. Uh, I don't want to make decisions, so I'll just leave both of those for now. So let's see, what could this palette use? I feel like this palette does not benefit from having this shade, so that can go. I also think that while this shade is very pretty, I think I could get a very, very similar effect by mixing 
the original taupe with this dark brown. So that can go as well. This sheet just isn't impressive. Not only is it a little bit warmer toned than I'm really looking for, it's also just not swatching very well. I've got 10 shades picked. I really think that I should probably get rid of one of these two, though I kind of want to see what else I choose. I think I want to go with 12. That seems like a good number to me. Um, yeah. So what do I want to do? That's, that's the bigger question. I think I could use a nice gray. So for that, I'm going to go open. There we are. Into this NYX Ultimate Edit and this somewhat blue toned gray. Yeah, that'll really bring out the cool tones, I think. And I think that'll pair really nicely with whichever of these end up sticking around. So I get two more shades, eh? Well, one completely new shade and then one replacement. So I think I'm going to use this light pink. I think that will help blend out some of these shades. There's that shade. I tend to use a pink like this, or sometimes just whatever blush I'm using, to blend out eye looks, so that'll be helpful to have. So I get one more, assuming that I get rid of one of these. Which I think I'm going to get rid of this one, honestly, I do like this color a little bit more. However, I think that this, with the pink glitter, brings bring something a little more different to the palette than this shimmery, well, taupe does. I think that if I'm gonna go with these, all these cool taupey browns, I think that a really fun little pop to have in it would be this purple. Though we'll see how it plays with the other ones. Let me know what you think of this style of video. I think it was pretty fun to do and I definitely didn't realize just how many cool toned neutral shades I had. I mean obviously I knew I had some otherwise I wouldn't have sat down to do this. But enough to make a 12 pan palette and really need to make choices when I did so that I did not realize. I was considering doing a tutorial with this uh, new taupe release from ColourPop. However, when I actually sat down and thought about it, I realized that pretty much every Naked 2 <laughs> tutorial, which is, you know, like a quarter of the beauty YouTube videos from, what, 2014, would, you know, be a taupe tutorial. So probably no need for that. Thank you so much for watching. Again, let me know your thoughts. I am very interested. Uh, I hope you'll consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed, and I really hope that I'll see you next time.